it's twin two of seven one seven i am back with another reading tonight guys hanging with mega good vibes my little sidekick and we are on to deliver some messages here from the divine masculine collective i wanted to share a reading tonight around protecting your energy okay divine feminine it's not that it's in this like bad way it's just i feel like there is a divine masculine who is very fixated on your energy um, if there are some of you who are on the twin flame journey and let's say for example you're still in a relationship you're still in a marriage you could have a divine masculine that's in a marriage they're in a, a relationship um, I'm just hearing protect your energy because there is again a lot of fixation on what it is you're doing divine feminine okay I'm seeing too that a lot of people could blame you it's like ever since you showed up or ever since you came around or stepped onto the scene you're making their person act differently, okay? Um, someone could see you acting differently as well um, because of this whole twin flame journey. So I don't know who this is for. Just make sure that you guys are protecting your energy, okay? What is this twin flame journey trying to teach you both right now? Okay, so we have the lightness of being, Okay, and it's giving me strong energy of the Divine Feminine taking care of yourself right now, grounding yourself. I think I just posted a reading actually um, where it talked about looking away, like you're looking the other way. Someone is trying to get your attention or they're doing the most to try to get your attention, but you're looking the other way. Um, I feel like it's best to stay in this energy of just either minding your own business or doing your own thing because again... Um, there is a divine masculine out there who I, I feel like they're fixated on you because they can't get the reaction that they're looking for out of you or your energy might be pushing them to be a little bit more authentic or more honest and truthful in the uh, connection that they're currently in, okay? I'm sensing a divine masculine as well who wants to have their cake and eat it too. Um, and you might be done with this. You might be finished with this energy in terms of engaging with someone who wants to have their cake and eat it too. So you're looking in the other direction, but I feel like it's really triggering them and it's triggering like the whole relationship that they may be in. There are two people here I'm picking up on, especially your divine masculine who is very fixated on what it is you're doing. I see butterflies on her, um, her robe or her kimono as well. And this could represent that you've literally transformed in front of this person okay you're a new person you're not triggered in the same ways that you used to you used to be before okay so therefore people are freaking out people might be talking about you a lot um just kind of keeping a closer eye on you wondering what it is you're up to why it is you're acting so differently you might be acting very cold very distant towards this divine masculine as well um, and I feel like it's for good reason. The lightness of being is this act of surrendering, like I've been talking about in the past readings. I feel like there's a lot of feminines out there who are surrendering to the journey. There's this, uh, there's this feeling within you, like there's no need to chase, that everything is working out in divine timing. But I feel like that's really pissing someone off that you're able to have this kind of strength to believe in divine timing. Another message here I'm getting with you looking away is that you're involved with a divine masculine who has a karmic partner that feeds off of your energy. So their relationship with your masculine is boring unless you are giving them attention. But I feel like in this case, you guys aren't giving them any attention. And this relationship between the masculine and karmic is really fizzling out or it can't stand the test of time unless you're giving them attention in some kind of way. And because you're not... I see two people cranky with one another and they're also fixating on you. So be careful guys, ground yourself, protect your energy, do things to make you laugh, go out with family and friends, unwind, watch some Netflix, watch comedies that make you laugh. Just continue doing your own thing and continue protecting this part of the journey where you are venturing off and doing your own thing, all right? Um, I do have this card here about the best course of action for you as well, Divine Feminine and okay so i feel like you are heavily protected because we have the six of swords here coming up and there's literally there's like dinosaur bird dragon whatever it is in the air um that's kind of protecting you here keeping you safe keeping you away from all of the drama that's going on below you 
Okay, so that's your best course of action here is to continue to remain unbothered and also continue to pray for protection because I feel like there's some of you out there whose masculines are experiencing like an ending in their karmic cycle. It may not be that obvious because you guys might see them out and about in this karmic situation. But I feel like what's happening behind the scenes is, you know, like there's a lot of chaos. Okay, we have the devil card here that I'm drawn to. Yeah, it's an interesting depiction of the devil card here because it kind of just seems like this very like foreign alien like energy sucking kind of um, depiction here. And that's what I'm getting, like a lot of you could be feeling the backlash of people feeling really obsessive over you right now, wondering what it is you're doing or wondering what it is you're not doing because I feel like because people are unable to get a reaction out of you or you could be really deep into this self-care energy right now, people are just doing the most. People are doing the most around you, but the universe is saying, you guys could continue to do the most, but each time you try, we're going to whisk this divine feminine away from it all so that they're not affected. Okay, someone could be trying to drain your energy, suck your energy dry okay and it doesn't have to be in this like weird dark magic like you know <laughs> mixing a cauldron pot like literally it's just someone who can't stop thinking about you they can't stop looking at your social media they can't stop listening for what it is you have to say they can't stop tuning in to what it is you have to say to try to catch some kind of hint or clue on what your next steps are so yeah continuously protect your energy guys okay what else do you guys need to have the heads up about with the energy going on here around you so we have the chariot card continue to charge ahead look if there's two energies here it even seems like the same <laughs> it even seems like the same bird the same scenery the chariot card here says that you are protected okay your best course of action is continue to stay focused on forward movement i feel like the universe the universe sees everything that's happening so people might be holding you in mind um, they could be thinking about you very negatively at this time but you're untouched okay whatever is happening here you're untouched divine feminine you're protected we have the king of cups here coming out there is a divine masculine here that is in love with you they may not be showing this in the most productive way with them being in love with you it's almost like the king of cups sometimes in reverse is what i'm getting someone who feels so much for you that their emotions are kind of taking over in a sense like i feel like with him being with him sitting here with his eyes closed there's a divine masculine out there that's thinking about you a lot they could be dreaming about you they could be asleep at night beside someone else kind of whispering your name uttering your name during dream state and this is what's bringing all of this attention to you right now and many of you i feel you can intuitively feel it and you're looking away on purpose okay a lot of you know you could intuitively and energetically feel that a lot of your masculines and the people that they are with are fixated on you right now divine feminine what else does the universe want you to know in terms of moving forward away from this energy so we have the wheel card here okay so things are turning in your favor i feel like it's annoying people as well that you seem to have this intuitive hindsight or or like you guys always seem to to have this heads up about whatever's coming to you whatever energy is coming at you and you always know how to twist things in your favor and there's someone out there who's really really annoyed by this okay there could be a karmic partner as well or karmic people situations around your divine masculine that they try to drag your energy down in some way divine feminine but it's like the the vibe i'm getting off of this wheel card which is a major arcana is that people are always pleasantly surprised or they they're either ple pleasantly surprised or sometimes always very shocked i feel like it could be your masculines who are pleasantly surprised to always see you flourishing you're always on top with this wheel card here you always come out on top it's like no matter how much hate or how much shade or energy people are throwing at you you could have a divine masculine who has karmic people or a karmic partner that talks about you in a very negative light 
constantly and I feel like when they go to check up on you or see what it is you're doing <laughs> it's like you guys are always on top you guys are always shining bright let's see what's coming up here the three of wands you guys are always charging forward charging ahead not letting anything bother you not letting anything bring you down it's very magnetic to this divine masculine but i do feel like you guys need to be aware because it's really pissing someone off that whatever it is they're trying to do energetically to bring you down they keep getting met with this energy of like no this divine feminine's protected no nope, don't go near this one it's like what, whatever they try to do or whatever they try to send towards you, I feel like the outcome is always like you're protected, but then something ends up going wrong in their life. Okay, with this King of Cups here, we have someone who is definitely in love with you. There's a masculine out there who is in love with you. They can't help but show it outwardly. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of masculines, and this has been coming up as well, who are very clumsy. They can't help but be fixated on you. They're watching you. But this is also bringing along a lot of karmic attachments as well. So I don't know who's reading this is for, but if you're in the Divine Feminine Energy, continue to practice looking in the other direction um, and moving forward away from this energy. If you can feel it, Divine Feminine, you can feel that there are people out there who are definitely obsessed with you at this time. The energy could feel heavy. Many of you could feel under the weather. You're getting sore throats. All of a sudden, you're getting the cold out of nowhere. Um, a lot of energetic things happening, but because you're intuitively protected with this high priestess energy, we have the chariot, we have the six of sword with perseverance here. Um, many of you are protected, so follow your instincts, okay? Those intuitive hunches that are coming up, continue to follow them, okay? Because many of you are being divinely guided at this time. There is a masculine who is ready to move towards you because of the intuitive hits and insights that they're getting but at the same time they are attached to someone who is determined to stop this or um like kind of like intervene or get in the way of this masculine coming towards you okay so continue to protect yourself um continue to stay focused on self-care all right feminines all right i don't know who this was for again but i hope it's found or it's brought to you clarity or that you found clarity in the reading. All right, you guys take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.